Hello, I'm Denise Juno, the Superintendent for Seattle Public Schools. I want to share information about next year's budget shortfall. I recognize that any budget deficit is challenging for our students, staff, and families. My intent is to keep you informed and make sure the district is as transparent as possible. Next school year, Seattle Public Schools will have a $40 million shortfall. Despite the efforts of many in Seattle's legislative delegation, the state's new K-12 funding model has left our district and many others without enough money to sustain current levels of service. While the state legislature increased K-12 state funding, they also decreased the amount of local levy funding districts can collect. The state's new funding model continues to underfund basic services like special education, nurses, counselors, and support staff. For example, the model only provides nine nurses for our 53,000 students. And the state also lowered our ability to collect local levy funds. Beginning in 2019-20, even though voters have approved a higher local levy collection, the state has limited collection to $2,500 per student. This means that we have fewer levy dollars to fill the gap between what the state provides for K-12 education and what our students need and deserve. Our budget shortfall is the result. As the superintendent, this is a very difficult message to share. Please know that I deeply value our staff and students. Cuts this significant will touch every part of the organization, including central office, schools, and individual classrooms. I do remain hopeful for some funding relief from the state. We will be developing a restoration plan, so we are prepared to act quickly if anything changes. We will continue to advocate on behalf of our students, staff, and families, and communicate our needs in Olympia. For more information on our budget shortfall and our next steps, please visit the district website. Thank you.